excitement? You, okay, listen. We have a special guest for you today. I called Tyrone. Yeah, I said it. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, first, first, first. Welcome to Indulge <laughs> with Chef Queen. And, and Jay. I'm so excited. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to play homage to my grandpa, Leroy. So today is the day when I was growing up. I went to go visit him in South Carolina. I got to think about this. First time I saw the rain go across the street, but the first time I ever ate shark, y'all. We got shark. So I called Tyrone <laughs> with Apex Seafood Market. Tyrone, come on over, come on over so you can... Ah! My gosh, okay. All right. So Hi, this is Tyrone. We really did call Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> so he has in this big, glorious box, shark. Yes, so um, let's put it out. Tell me, JY, if you will move that out the yes. way. Tell us what type it is. I'll take this okay. from you. So we have black tip shark here out of Moorhead City, North awesome. Carolina. I'm slide you so we can all, so everybody can see this. It's shark. It's a real shark. shark. There's the skin side. My right grandfather there. would be so excited right now. Okay. Wow. All right, all right. So. It's literally so fresh you can still see it bleeding. Oh, wow. Let me <laughs> see Oh, my gosh, y'all. Today we're going to make for you is grilled shark with a creamy cheddar polenta and a beautiful egg with a runny yolk, similar to what my grandfather made for me when I was a little kid, mm -hmm. the really first time I ever came to South Carolina. So if you can cut me. I might have to stay here. For let's, <laughs> <laughs> now, listen, now we do take guests. We do have special guests to eat it because we want you to taste the okay. indulgent experience, an indulgent flavor bomb. Mm -hmm. We're going to put some of our everything indulgent on this, okay. grill it up nicely in a cast. Cast iron grill. Mm -hmm. But go ahead, cut, cut, okay. cut, cut. <laughs> <laughs> you wait, can I show them this knife? That's a knife, y'all. My knife is a little bit shorter than that. That's a, that's a fisherman's. That's a professional yeah. knife. Okay, go ahead. I'm sorry. Dexter blade. Right. That's the... Look at this. One right that's here. perfect. Okay. Do you hear that? Ooh! Y'all not ready. Oh, yeah. The skin of the shark is pretty. Tough. It has to be to swim in the water. If you don't mind me holding it. Now I want to show y'all something. Look at this. Look at that beautiful. Whoa. Would this be considered like the bloodline? Yes, ma'am. Look at that right there. That looks amazing. Deep, beautiful skin, beautiful bloodline. But do you see the texture? Very beautiful. When we grill this up, the grill marks, mm. the mm. white mm. fish mm. on this, dynamic, perfect. I don't even think y'all ready for the indulgent flavor, but my <laughs> mouth is watering. I know. <laughs> Like that. Oh my gosh. So yes, yes. this size, cut them up for us. Okay. Tell us why you're doing it, if you don't mind. Apex Seafood Market. Do you own this? Yes, this is my baby. Yes. Um, I started this uh, over three years ago. Yes. Um, I started out at the, cut up. At the Apex Sorry. Farmer's Market. Um, and then since then, I have uh, expanded into the Holly Springs Farmer's Market. The Midtown Farmers Market in North Hills. I mean, both of the Black Farmers Market, the one in Durham and the one in Raleigh. Awesome. Um, and then I also do the Moore Square Farmers Market as well, along with deliveries and meetups. And this is local delivery, North Carolina, Apex, Apex um, area, yep. Raleigh area. So yep. please contact him, find him on social media. But when we come back, I'm going to grill this up for y'all. Personal chef. I love doing personal chef. You love it. It's our favorite thing. Yes. It, personal chef experience is our favorite thing to do because you get to sit there with the clients, cook in front of them, they ooh, they ah, and then once they eat the food, you get to hear their raw emotion, their raw reaction, and that's just the best thing to chefs. Yes. And I love it when we get clients that say, I don't care, just make something. Mm -hmm. I, I, I lose my mind yeah. because then get I to get be to creative. be creative and I get to do crazy stuff. Like I get to make watermelon gazpacho or I get to make cantaloupe gazpacho and, and which is a cold soup, but out of watermelon versus the normal tomato, or I get to make boba bowls. So I did a watermelon boba as an appetizer that was just dynamic. You know, yeah. it's just stuff that you don't get to do every day. Yes. Um, but that's some of the things that makes indulge indulge. Yes. All right. So Tyrone has left. Apex Seafood Market bought us this beautiful shark. Yes. Put it in some milk. You can use buttermilk if you like, but you put it in milk. This way it kind of takes away some of that fishiness from it. Um, and then while that's soaking, Chef Jay is going to handle the polenta. So let's go ahead and get over to the polenta. You ready? 
Ready. All right, let's do this. What do we want to season the polenta with today? We're going to do onion, okay. garlic. Onion powder. Onion powder. <laughs> I was like, don't put in the You can, but for this, onion powder, garlic powder. Yes. Salt, um, pepper. Kosher salt mm -hmm. and pepper. So this is the one that we're going to actually use kosher salt for. So here's your butter. All right. So I just turned my heat up a little bit more. So get the water boiling. We're also going to use some milk to make it creamy polenta. So we have cheese that we're gonna put into the polenta. Yeah. Three what kind of cheese do we it's have? Three. It's three different types three of cheese. So we have All right. three different types of sharp cheese. Nice. Because I like the way that the sharp cheese gives you a bite with the creaminess of the polenta, the sweetness of the shark meat, um, and then that beautiful egg on top. Um, let's see, what else you got back there? Polenta. Your water's not boiled. <laughs> No, but okay. I have polenta. Yes, and polenta, yes. I love polenta. polenta. Polenta is a yellow grit. So mm -hmm. most people are used to, especially in the South, the white grits, but polenta is a yellow grit. Um, it sounds all fancy if you call it polenta, but it essentially is just ground yellow corn or grits. Um, mm -hmm. And it's gluten-free. So that's another cool thing about it is gluten-free. So essentially this whole meal is gluten-free. Um, while her water's boiling, because, you know, a watch pot never boils, I'm going to go ahead and start on this shark, because that's easier than watching a pot boil. Chef Dave, you would pass me napkins. What I'm going to do with this shark is blot the shark, the milk off the shark. And the reason why is because I want my seasoning to adhere. So I really don't want, when I also put it inside of the, the pan, the cast iron grill, if you would heat that start up for me, start that, that up for me. Um, I don't want it to just be like a dull. I want that pot really, really hot. And I want, when I put my shark on there, to be here that that sound. That, that, that sound means that stuff is starting to cook. It's going to seal in. So let's look at this. Oh my gracious, look at that. So do you see the pattern of this fish? Beautiful flaky white fish. This is a bloodline and this is its skin. So what I do is I leave the skin on while I'm cooking. You can peel it off at the end. You can also cut it off. But for this presentation, I'm gonna leave it on. So let's blot this. Mmm, shark. Oh, look how beautiful that is. I'm kind of scared to eat the shark. I know, but I told you. All right. So why shark? Why shark, y'all? Yes, why shark? So my grandpa Leroy, or should I say, my, my, I'm going to get emotional, but I'm going to try not to. My grandpa Leroy, who's no longer with us, this is one of my fondest memories of him. The first time I really got to meet him is when we went to South Carolina when I was younger and he made a shark. So he made shark with grits and eggs and um, yeah, so I love my grandpa very much. Um, and he is no longer with us. And this was a way for me to honor him in doing this because he is an amazing dynamic cook. Um, and so uh, this is his dish. And I remember going to South Carolina and seeing the rain, like we would run and it was the first time I saw rain travel. And so we was on the street and we was playing in the street and mm -hmm. from the Bronx, you know, you don't really get a chance to play in the street cause you get hit by a car. Um, so we was playing in the street and it was like, look at the rain. And I was like, why is the rain coming to us? It looks like it's coming to us. It is. It was like, oh, let's outrun the rain. And we ran against the rain. It that was like dope. so dope, yo. Um, that sounds dope. And I know he'll be very proud to see this. So that's yeah. my story and I'm sticking to it. Yeah. So. Food is a language of love. And a lot of times, especially um, in families that don't really talk much, a lot of times the table brings you together and eating food at the table brings you together. And we had a very strained relationship with my dad's side of the family, as far as his father, not my grandmother on my dad's side um, or my paternal grandmother, cause we, we, that was our family, but my paternal grandfather. 
And so when we got to really go to his house and stay with him and my grandma Ida, who are both gone, they're both no longer with us, it was just a love. And it was a great way to speak to him and see who he was as a man and, and, and as, a, as a fisherman and as a, just as a person around food and he loved food. So food for me brings back so many great memories. So as I gather myself, <laughs> let's continue to cook. I, I think I can cut my polenta now. You sure? I think so. You watched it long enough. I'm surprised it I boiled. made it. I said boil. Oh, you willed it to boil. Yes. Grits is my jam. I love cooking grits. And that's why you on grit detail. <laughs> the secret about grits, right? You get your water to boil. And then the way you know you have enough grits in there is that as you're stirring, as you're whisking, and you're looking at your water, once your water is filled with whatever you're putting in there, the polenta or the grits, and you no longer see any just clear water, that's how you know you have enough polenta or grits in there. That's a good trick, because whenever I make grits, I um, my grits are bricks. So, <laughs> <laughs> and while you're doing that, I'm gonna get the seasoning on the shark. Almost there. This is our everything indulgent blend that you're going to put on here. And it's an all-purpose seasoning. There's notes of lemon in there. There's notes of uh, cumin in here. And it's just going to give a beautiful light flavor to the outside of this shark. Rub it into the skin. And as you're doing oh, that, you're yeah. going to see the herbs you'll see the rosemary that i put in here and when i say i because this is our line of seasoning everything indulgent is part of the indulgent essential spices line of seasoning all right chef yes we're going to season the polenta we're going to turn down your flame just a bit because you don't want it to pop you don't want it to pop on you forewarned hot grits on your skin it's not the jam, mm -hmm. not, not the jam. business. So we're going to add, um, this is onion powder, a little onion powder, because we want this, this polenta to be savory. I'm going to add a little garlic powder. Oh, that looks good. Little pepper. I love peppery polenta or grits. Oh, that looks good. All right, so the coolest part about polenta, I'm going to leave this right here beside you, is that polenta is so versatile. Polenta can be made into polenta cake. So if you cook it, you can put it on a sheet pan um, and let it cool down, and then you can take a cookie cutter and cut it out, and you can make it into a beautiful appetizer. You can also just make the cake itself. If you do the same thing and you pan sear it on either side, it gets a nice golden color and it retains its shape. So if you make it a little bit thicker and retain its shape, you can also make it as we're doing right now, savory. Mm -hmm. um, that's that garlic in it, some onion in it, some savory herbs in it, or you can make it sweet. Um, if you make a sweet polenta and then take some strawberries and put it on top some berries put it on top oh yeah no, oh talking. my gracious yes that'll be a beautiful nice treat chef um, what's, i'm gonna add perfect. my milk now oh that's perfect yes 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 you add your it milk. creamy how's my pan going i turned it down oh it's perfect it's ready mm -hmm. add a little bit more milk chef do you want the polenta to be Cheesy or cheesy? I want it to be cheesy. Cheesy. Versus the purple or purple. <laughs> so, bam. A little more. Nothing's wrong with cheese. Beautiful. Cheese, please. I like that. Three years ago, I think it was, that we said we needed some residual income. And residual income means that we don't have to go to work every day. We don't want to be those entrepreneurs that every time you turn around, they work eight hours a day. I mean, sorry, eight days a week, even though there's only seven. Mm -hmm. And they work thousands and thousands of hours. That's not us. We want key deals, key deals meaning key jobs. Um, and then we want stuff that we can put on the shelf, stuff that people can buy or click buy, even if we're not doing anything. Mm -hmm. um, and that's how you grow. That's how you become bigger. That's how you become a business versus a mom and pop operation. Yeah. And that's where 
um, indulging essential spices will take us. Yeah, but also, we also wrote down um, on a calendar. Manifest it. How much do you want to make a month? Okay, how many personal chefs do we have to do? How many corporate catering do we have to do? You know, and put it, made a plan and make it plain. Yeah. And just work it and make that money. Great business coaches. Yeah. Really said, write it out and work yeah. work your plan. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. All right, let's get the shark grilled out. Beautiful shark. Pot is ready for it. We're gonna do it at kind of a angle because I want beautiful, listen to that. Oh yeah. That's a happy pan. That's a happy pan. Makes a happy chef. Mm -hmm. Two at a time, don't wanna overcrowd your pan. And what you're looking for is for this meat to begin to get white, but you don't want, you, what you're looking for is for the meat to get white, but you don't want it to be like overly cooked because this can go from beautiful, succulent, amazingly sweet to dead and dry. <laughs> and we're not eating chalk. I mean, it's, yeah, dead and dry. I was about to say it's already dead, but that's the size for it. <laughs> what I'm looking for is to get good grill marks. This is going to wait a minute and while this is going all I'm doing is lightly pressing it and it's allowing me to really feel the meat allowing me to understand my fish and allowing me to get the doneness so similar to cooking a good steak you know as a steak gets doneer it gets not so um, bounce back or springy is that the best way to say it mm -hmm. springy okay but it don't apply to fish it does so apply to this fish you know, uh -oh. you're not an expert on shark now. Come on now. Not at all. Not at all. I'm scared. I know, but I told you, <laughs> trust in me. Trust in me. I trust you. All right. I know you don't have smell of vision, but let me tell you what I'm smelling. I'm smelling dynamic. Da -da. Da -da. No, you didn't. No, you did not. No, da -da. you did not. Da -da. Da -da. Da -da. <laughs> you're still going to eat it. <laughs> So what I'm smelling is I'm smelling the herbs, I'm smelling the cumin, I'm smelling um, some garlic in here. But what I'm also smelling is freshness from the fish. And that's what you want. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to flip this now. Look, Look at, at that fish. That. Oh my gracious. And that's what I want. You see how that color change happened? That's what we want. I get quiet when I really smell this dish. And the reason why I get quiet is because this reminds me of after coming in from playing and just the house smelling dynamic. You smell the fish going, you smell the herbs going, you smell the garlic, because he did like garlic. So you smell the garlic and you're like, is it time to eat yet? He's like, no, 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 not yet. Let me put the plate on the table. So <laughs> that's my memory. Oh, wow, look at this. You feel that bounce back? You see that bounce back? I see it. But your description just took me there. I, like, I can see you running in the house after playing. Like, I really <laughs> wanted to tell him how the yeah. rain, like, we almost outran the rain. And it was like, ah, we almost did it. Yeah. And then. I, I can smell you smelling like outside. You know hey, how hey, kids hey, go inside. Hey, you hey. go, like, oh, you smell I like outside. I never smelled like outside. I always <laughs> smelled nice and Girl. clean. That must be the New York thing. You it is the New that. York. I mean, we don't smell like outside because that means you got to take a shower and I wanted to eat. So, <laughs> Oh, this is beautiful. A good trick is to flip it on its third side so that the bottom, this part of the fish is cooked, that bottom part of the fish is cooked. But now this edge that doesn't touch the heat will now touch the heat. The colors. The Look fresh. at the shark. Looks like he's coming out the water. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaky. And you think I'm eating that? You gonna eat this. Oh we, we're not having this conversation. Uh -uh. You're gonna eat this. No, ma'am. Well, can I have a pan so that, I mean, a, a plate so that I can uh, put this on it? Because this is done. Is so it? It is. Let me get my thermometer. She's boring. Yes. Temp your meat. Yes, that's the proper way to do it. That's why she's my sous chef. Right hand, temp your meat. Oh my gosh. That's just because you scared. You right. See, you didn't even temp it right. And it's upside down. <laughs> <laughs> this shark ain't gonna bite me, it's gonna bite you. You keep messing with it. We're gonna finish this in the oven. All right, let me get my polenta. Yes, I will let you get your polenta. I wanna tell the people something. 
Okay. The caramelization on the outside of this is the difference between, on this piece, is the difference between a really hot pan mm -hmm. and a semi-hot pan. Mm -hmm. Either of them work. This is just going to have a little bit more richer flavor because we let the pan get hotter. Just an FYI. Caramelized. Caramelized, okay? It's pretty. Everything is going to be fully cooked. Mm. The difference, once again, is just the heat in your pan. Beautiful. While this finishes on the stove, we're going to finish out the polenta and then make a beautiful fried egg. Our Indulgent Essential Spices has been a labor of love and finally moment. So what happened was everyone loves our food. They love our food. They go, oh my God, what did you put in this? And I'm like, 11 different things. And they're like, how in the heck can I put 11 different things? And so we bottled it. And we, we just bottled it. And it was just easiest to bottle it. Um, that's yeah. with our spices. That's sauces. with our sauces. So we have three different sauces. The OG, the raspberry, and the Coco Cafe. Yeah. And then you have your three different spices. Yeah. The everything, the jerk, and the and the golden adobo. Yeah, because everybody loves it. Yeah. All right, let's check on this polenta. Ooh, she looks good. Let's give her a stir. It looks so good and creamy. Chef, I just want to... Finish it off with a little salt. Oh, I thought it was taste time. I was ready. <laughs> Turn and pivot. I was on it. A little more salt. All right. A little bit more pepper. A little more cheese. A little more cheese. Yeah. A little more parsley. Mmm, savory polenta. <laughs> Looks really good. Nice and job. Cheese, please. And go ahead and you can start plating. Okay. The polenta. What I want is some polenta directly in the center. Mm -hmm. Shark right on top of that. And then I'm going to come and... Not touching that shark. <laughs> you see, I keep trying. Okay, it's okay, but you're still going to eat it. Okay. All right, we'll just put my polenta down. Let me get this. Sure. All right, what I'm waiting for is my butter to kind of brown just a bit. Remember, not burn, but brown just a bit. Crack. And... In. I don't want that heavy sizzle because I want it to stay in a nice uniform shape. Chef, I got your polenta. You got me ready? Yeah, you want me to place the baby shark? I mean the shark. <laughs> in the center. Please place the shark in the center, semi-diagonal. Diagonal. Thank you. Plating. Plating is perfect. Remember yes. that. Ooh, this egg is going. Mm -mm 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 -mm. gonna put a little bit of pepper the key is to have my white cooked we don't want runny white don't be afraid to add a little bit more butter as you're going it's gonna help release but you don't want to add too much butter the goal is not to over inundate this with butter Mm -hmm. Or you can use olive oil as well. Olive oil as well. Mm -hmm. I'm excited, Chef. I'm ready. You ready? I think my grandfather would be very proud right now. I think so, too. Grandpa Leroy. I know he's shining down, boy. I know he's shining down right now. Smiling. All right, last one. Also trick, keep that yolk on your steak of shark. A big egg. That's my egg. Go. That's your egg. That's what we want to guess. Would you mind parsley on me? Oh, look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Now let me get this fork. Look at this, y'all. Nice, beautiful, beautiful runny yolk mm -hmm. to go with your shark. It has a beautiful, thick texture which is what you want. It's a thick white meat. Sh your polenta. Good. Ooh. Mm. Creamy polenta. Oh boy. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Don't, don't worry about this. Don't worry about this over here. Don't worry about this I'm over not. here. I'm not. I'll take the first bite. Uh, you're gonna take the only bite. <laughs> you gonna fix your face. Uh, uh. 
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Mm. Almost fine. Mmm. Mmm. It's really good. So the texture is similar to shrimp. Yes. The creaminess of the polenta is dope. Mm -hmm. The egg is dope. Shark, as with everything, one of the things that we say at Indulge, and I, I know we laugh, but one of the things that we say at Indulge <laughs> is you try everything once. You try mm -hmm. it. Indulgent flavor bombs. The shark is amazing to me. And it's not just because it's nostalgic. It's amazing because the texture is beautiful. Going with that runny egg, going with the creaminess of the polenta, mm -hmm. going with the cheddar cheese. I mean, it's a win for me. She don't have to eat it. I'll eat her portion. Yes. But anyway, other than that, I know Erica will eat it. Mm -hmm. I know they'll love it. Mm -hmm. yes. Other than that, you ready That's for the it. next time? Yes. So I can finish eating this? Sure. You going to take a bite off camera? What? <laughs> Well, with that being said, <laughs> we'll see you next time. We thank you so very much for yes. joining us on Indulge with Chef Queen and Jay. And Jay. She going to eat this when we get off camera. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. <laughs>